police officer is in hot pursuit. When the heat's on, human senses are at full alert. But it's on his sight that this man most depends. More than 80% of what we know of the world comes through our eyes, and his world is rushing past at lethal speed. As light enters each eye, the pupil opens to let it pass to a fluid-filled lens. Auto-focusing in an instant, it projects a pen-sharp image onto a screen at the back of the eye. The retina, it wraps around nearly three-quarters of the inside surface, giving us an enormous wide field of view. An image at the heart of your retina has sharper detail than any digital camera that you can buy. Light-sensitive cells flash data from the image. It travels along the optic nerve to the visual cortex at the back of the brain making sense of images, however fleeting, however incomplete, is what the brain does with lightning speed. Awesome computing power triggers an urgent response. It happens in milliseconds, as if your life depended on it. Downtown Los Angeles. Caught on helicopter camera, a murder suspect on the run drives on the bat out of Right behind him, LAPD officer Stan Berry in pursuit. Through dense traffic that speeds up to 100 miles per hour, a single mistake now could spell disaster. His survival depends on his ultimate high-tech weapon, his eyesight. I need to know about the traffic coming to the right of me, traffic coming to the left of me but you also need to focus on what's, what's ahead of you. Is there pedestrians walking down the street? Uh, and, and then also try to keep up with the, uh, with the fleeing suspect as well. Reconstructing the 40-minute chase allows us to reveal how vision is the driving force behind our human machine. The way it will ensure this lawman's survival shows exactly how it's done the same for us over millions of years of evolution. With two million working parts, the optical powers of our eyes match the finest cameras. They can distinguish between ten million colors. Switch focus from infinity to mere inches in a fifth of a second. See detail in bright sunshine or the darkest shadow. All while taking in a wide-angle view of almost 180 degrees. Calculating a path through, he commits to the chase. But suddenly something new enters on the edge of his view. This is where the eye's design pays off. Covering 95% of the retina are cells known as rods, 125 million of them. They see no color or fine detail, but they are tuned to detect motion anywhere in our field of view. The alarm received, the eyes swivel back to look directly at the cause. Now cells in the middle of the retina, known as cones, kick into play. Six million of them crowded into a dot the size of a pinhead, and they detect all our color and fine detail. And that's why when we look at something, we look directly at it because we have our highest visual acuity right in the center. With eyes instantly adjusted to look straight at the moving object, the officer identifies it as a threat. The brain reacts, sending nerve signals at speeds of 180 miles per hour to his hands and feet. In time to maneuver safely through the junction. Just one of hundreds of lethal hazards that Officer Berry navigated safely in the course of this chase before bringing it to a successful conclusion.